My name is Brett Chedzo. I'm a forester with Cornell Cooperative Extension. I serve a number of counties here in the southern tier of New York and as a natural resources educator, uh, have assumed the role of helping landowners here in the southern tier with their natural gas development issues. I feel that natural gas is probably the largest rural land issue that we have here in upstate New York right now, particularly in the southern tier and I'm not sure that we've ever really faced any other um, things that could have such a impact on our communities as natural gas development. Well hopefully we can find some more middle ground on this because over the past few months I've seen an increasing polarity in the community. People seem to be taking a for or against stance which is unfortunate because each side seems to believe that they're the only ones looking out for um, a, a particular interest or, or viewpoint and although talking to the different groups uh, being an extension I, I seem to hear all sides and I'm hearing the same messages but nobody really seems to be able to look beyond their own viewpoint and um, listen to what what others are saying. We're going to try to hold some community conversation forums in the coming months to get people together in, in small groups, uh, probably break people out into small roundtable discussions to go through some questions and, and try and come to a consensus on certain things. Um, but even if they can't reach consensus, at least hopefully they'll listen to what people sitting across from the table are, are concerned about and how they stand on this issue. I think it's in everybody's best interest to listen to each other and I think that just in the past couple months um, some people found that they're very concerned about this and they, they feel that nobody else is sufficiently concerned about it and that's caused them to become um, quite active in, in trying to make their voice heard but I think that hopefully as time goes on they, they realize that other people share those same concerns they just might be acting on their personal concerns in, in a different way. You know, I feel that natural gas development is going to happen here whether whether we want it to or not. Um, you know the natural gas is not going anywhere and the companies that are interested in that natural gas are not going anywhere and this is a property right that belongs to all landowners and many landowners are going to choose to exercise that right by leasing it to energy companies so it's not a question of if for me but rather when and I feel that uh, today the, the, the collective um, efforts of coalitions are the best solution that we've come up with to try and do well-informed uh, smart development of this very valuable resource. In extension it's always emphasized that we try and separate the fact from the fiction and that to me has been it's it's becoming such a passionate emotionally charged issue that it's, it's hard to get people to come back to what's verifiable and um, has been documented versus they heard from somebody who heard from somebody that um, all these negative impacts occurred somewhere and I, I don't think that that necessarily helps people make wise decisions when we're uh, basing things on uh, accounts that may or may not be true. Uh, I think we need to look at what's, what's happened elsewhere and, and uh, learn from that and try and uh, I mean in many ways we're fortunate here in New York and that we're sort of one of the last to go through this learning curve so hopefully we start further along that curve than other states like Wyoming or Texas or Pennsylvania they have a personal do. concern outside of extension that um, those some, some of the more extremist viewpoints one way or another are making themselves uh, very vocal, well organized, and are trying to exert their influence on on the the more silent majority. And 
again, I think that this is something that could be, um, I mean, it could be a good thing for us, it could be a bad thing for us, but so far I think everybody's doing their due diligence and trying to figure out how to do it in a positive way for our community.